Alright, welcome back. I feel like I've never done this before, but how do you save your project on GitHub for C++? Now for C Sharp, if you guys know that if we go into our tutorials, you actually have everything in. But for C++, if you do try to, what it does is it only saves the scripts and you can't really save your so-called properties and your asset browser and the data so how do you actually do that so for doing that you actually need something called git bash if you don't have it install it and once you do install it you will be able to make your own commits and stuff and from there you can add your own uh, objects so in my case I have like six repositories Higgs is something else uh, let's create this new one I'm just gonna call it Higgs again uh, Higgs 2.16.0.1 and I'll just choose private for now but if that's what it was 12 16 point, okay so once we have this I'm just gonna I'm just gonna create the repository and now we have an empty repository so we're gonna be saving it in here but before we even do any of that let's um, go into our object so for me it's in work D so we go into D Unigen Hicks so let's just navigate there and then once you're inside here we actually are gonna put our git folder inside here now the reason why it doesn't do it in visual studio it goes straight into the source and your gits will be here and you can't really go up here so instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it here and we're gonna make sure it doesn't screw us up because some files here are way too big like these ones and everyone has them we don't really need them when you remake your project with the same thing you'll have the exact same data stuff the main stuff you need uh, we will save that so what we can do is we just write git in it and once we do we get a git folder here and now we have it in it so the thing is if we were to go into visual studio now it's gonna screw us over so what we need is to actually make a commit and we'll just add this uh, uh, let's see we'll add yeah We'll add that. So let's just press DIR. We can see what we have. So we can do git add hicks dot project. And it's gonna add that. And then we can just git commit slash m. And then we write our commit message, adding proj files. Okay, and that is all we need to add it. So now, when we actually go into our Visual Studio right we can just uh, continue without anything and then we can go to select repository we have something called Hicks but in order to find it well actually I can just click on it and now we have git Hicks and once I'm here in the git changes now we have all the files that says that we want to commit or change I'm not gonna be using most of it our original Proj files that we just added one file is there and now we can actually change our commits so what we're gonna do is we're just going to ignore most of the stuff here so in my case we're gonna be ignoring uh, this stuff or we can ignore libs include bin and thumbnails so just right click ignore these local items we're gonna get a git ignore it's gonna ignore all of it for sources inside, we're gonna ignore Hicks, uh, the VS, and I'm just gonna do that. Well, ignore this and ignore this. Also ignore this. So now we ignored all that. Then we go into our data, and we can ignore stuff that we don't really need. So this is the more faster way of doing stuff. So now in my case, I'm gonna ignore all of this. I'm gonna ignore the configs dots. Those are for, uh, those are specific for every uh, projects. So we can just ignore these local items. And now all we have is the world and the template assets, which when we open it is this. So now all we have is this. So if you make a new property or anything, it's gonna be saved. 
And once it's saved, we can say adding what we need. And I'm gonna ignore this one too. We don't really need that. All right, so with that, now we have all the sources and this. So for C++, all the new files you, uh, all the new scripts you make will be saved here. All the properties you make will be saved here. And we will do this and then push. Once we push, we can either make our own or we can use the one that we just made. So we can just uh, copy this guy, control C it, and then go over here and control V it and push. That's all we gotta do. And then once you're done, it'll push and it says it has been done. So now if we go here and refresh, we have our folder number one. And then if we push again or commit all this, And now we have everything that we needed, right? So we got our source, which has all our scripts. And then we got our data, which has all our uh, main files that we need from our asset browser. So with that, now we actually created a proper, um, proper, what do we call, repository save for our projects. Now, if you lose anything, like how I have lost like a few files, uh, you can always come back, you have your data and you have your sources. So now that's saved. For C Sharp, you guys are a little lucky. You don't really need that because you get all of that already. All right, so hope that helps for anyone who's uh, stuck with C++ and C Sharp. But other than that, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.